Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the vote of the people November 4th, 2008. Thank you, thank you. Hello, I'm Nathaniel Gillen. Uh, I'm the guitarist for Blue Hound. And I'm Trevion Dunlap. I'm the drummer slash vocalist for Blue Hound. And also in Blue Hound is Noah Quam, our keyboard and vocalist. Yep, yep. Andy Meyer, our saxophone player. Dan Rowe, our trombone player. Alex Bouvier, our trumpet player. Yep, yep. And Matthew Zyla, our bassist. Hey, hey, shout out, shout out. And that <laughs> is what makes up Blue Hound. And when did Blue Hound first become a band? And how did it become a band? So we started around 2014, 2015. We all became students at Augsburg College, now University. And we were all music students. Noah and I have been playing music since we were in high school. We're best friends from high school. We came to Augsburg together and we just wanted to start something new. We wanted to start a new band. We then met Trey here. And it kind of blossomed from there. Yep, LA, yep. We kind of had a, the formings of a trio. We kind of played around, but we didn't really have an organized, like, full group yet. Mm -hmm. So the main thing we were missing was uh, our bass player. So we ended up meeting Matthew, who's our uh, bass player. And 
I really wanted a horn section, so we added a horn section onto that as well. So that's kind of how Blue Hound came about. <laughs> and where did the name come from? That was an idea that Matthew came up with. We were struggling for names, and I think how it might have come about is a lot of us love dogs in the band, and particularly for me, my favorite color is blue. So. Yeah, I had no say in the name because <laughs> um, I'm not too uh, too much of a huge fan of uh, dogs, um, and my favorite color is red. Uh, <laughs> but it's okay. Hey. I liked it anyway. You know, everyone else loved it, and so I grew to love it as well. <laughs> yeah, it's like a big family. <laughs> yeah.
a smile on my face, they all laugh if they'll see someday. All the way, they think I don't understand, but I know I'll do well. Thank you so much. I, I guess you, you can say that we have our own language uh, while we're up there. Um, there's just things that you see and reassures you that things are going well. Like when Nathaniel gives you this little side smirk that's like <laughs> half a smile type thing. <laughs> he knows do he's it. done well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's, he's proud of the lick that he just played or something like that. Yeah, but yeah we all got our little things. It's always just uh, high energy, goofing around up yeah. on stage, trying yeah, to have yeah. a good time. Yeah. Have it such a, like a tight, fun, funky rhythm section is really good, and then you just put the horns on top of that, and it's, it's it just nice raises season. the energy level. Yeah. <laughs>
Thank you, thank you so much. Tongue weaves words like a 
So when you set up a show, do you guys come in with like a set list in mind or is it kind of... Yeah, we generally always have like a set list beforehand so we can... We got a great band leader oh. to get that done for us. <laughs> <laughs> most that, most that. So one of our fan favorites is New York and it's the one we generally put at the end of our set and will be at the end of our set tonight. It's uh, about this thought in my head of these two people and they just kind of grew out of each other in their life and this one person, the person that's in the song, that's talking to you in the song, is talking about how ever since this person left, they're finding new things about themselves. They're experiencing the world in new ways. And it's all right. It's all right to go through changes.
Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the vote of the people November 4th, 2008. If you enjoy watching Backroads online, please consider making a tax-deductible donation at lptv.org.